Hi there. I'm here today to handle a question that is a harder question than you might realize it is. And that is, what is the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? I think a lot of people think that they know the answer to this question, but what I have discovered recently is that very few people that think they know the answer to this question actually know the answer to this question. And, and that can partially be illustrated by the fact that I have here two shelled reptiles. And they look very much alike, and they live very similarly, but only one of them is actually a tortoise. And so understanding the real differences between tortoises and other turtles is maybe not as straightforward as you think. I want to start off by saying that all shelled reptiles, so any reptile with a shell like this that can like tuck its limbs inside of its rib cage, which is a weird thing to be able to do. No, no other creatures can do this. Any reptile that can do this is a turtle. Unless, of course, you only consider sea turtles to be turtles. In that case, they're all chelonians, or they're all testudines, or you can use these other words. I'm going to use the word turtle, okay? So, they're all turtles. Every single one of them. There are some real big groups of turtles. So, there are two big lineages. I'm going to set this guy down for a second so I can show you these two turtles. And this turtle here is a side-necked turtle. And you can see he's a little bit scared, and so he pulls his head into his shell sideways. He's a side-necked turtle. That is one lineage of turtles. There's another lineage of turtles, like this turtle here. This is Shelly. And they're called the hidden-necked turtles. And you see, when she gets scared, she pulls her head back in straight, and her neck is hidden. Whereas with the side-necked turtle, I can still see his neck, because it's tucked off to the side. And these are the two big groups of turtles. All hidden-necked turtles are more closely related to each other than they are to the side-necked turtles. Some people talk about a group of turtles called terrapins. And terrapins include some members of this group and some members of this group, but not all of the members of either group, and that's complete garbage. They're not each other's closest relatives at all, and the only thing that they have in common is that they live in the water. And the problem with building a group that is total garbage, and it's not based on how they're related to each other, is we don't know anything else about them. If you know that it's a terrapin, all you know about it is that it's a turtle that lives in the water at the end. That's all you know. But if you know how they're related to each other, you know all kinds of cool things about them. These two turtles, and it's not that shocking because they look fairly similar, but there are members of this group that look a lot more like that turtle than they do like these turtles. But all the same, all of the hidden neck turtles are more closely related to each other than they are to any side neck turtles anywhere. There are many kinds of hidden neck turtles, and among them are tortoises. Okay, so not all the hidden neck turtles are tortoises, but some of them are. And tortoises are a unique group. And when I've heard people explain to me what is the difference between a tortoise and other turtles, most of the things that they list are things that maybe tortoises have, but lots of other turtles have as well. So I want to share with you a couple of things that are actually unique to this tortoise group that will actually help you determine which of these two turtles is a real tortoise? One thing is they've got this kind of tortoise face. They've got this kind of short, oval-shaped head. And all tortoises have that. And if you get used to looking at tortoises, you can just look at the face of a tortoise and go, is a tortoise or isn't a tortoise. But that's a little bit, a little bit hard. It takes a little bit of expertise. So I'm going to tell you a more surefire thing that you can look for, and that's their feet. If you watch these two turtles walk, and both of these turtles are very good at walking, that's why I've had to hold them the whole time, you'll notice... <laughs> go, Houdini, go, Shelly! You'll notice that they walk very differently. And that's because tortoises walk on their toes like ballerinas. They're what's called digitigrade. That means they walk on their toes. And, and actually, as it turns out, elephants do that as well. And elephants have kind of a big sack of fat back behind so they can stand up on their toes and not crush their toes because elephants, as it turns out, are heavy. But these guys have elephant-like feet, called elephantine feet, and they walk up on their toes, digitigrade. Tortoises do that. 
other turtles are going to walk down on their whole feet, not up on their toes. And when you walk down on your feet like that, that's called plantigrade. And so, if they have these digitigrade elephant-like feet, that is a tortoise. If it doesn't, it's still a turtle. They're all turtles, but it's not a tortoise. All right? So that's the thing. That's the most important thing. If you want to know the difference between a tortoise and a turtle, if you want to tell, is this a tortoise or a turtle, look at the feet. And now you know. As always, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you real soon. I need the clacker, though. No, you're going to have to go without. Clack! Oh, God.